Hey guys, so you might remember a few months ago I did a, uh, a music haul uh, from a box that I got in the mail from uh, a friend who watches my channel. Um, uh, they have sent me another box uh, full of music. I haven't, I just opened the box, I haven't looked inside it yet, so I wanted to sort of do a haul with you of it all and uh, just discover it with you. Um, because it always, I, it's, it's, I mean, I, I know vaguely what it's going to be, but it's still fun to discover it on its own. Um, so this is going to be music, probably a lot of classical music and opera, um, but we will see. Um, cool. Um, alright, so, first one here is, um, The Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. Uh, so yeah, this is another one of those, um, uh, sets with the libretto along with it, as well as the music. I think I told them that I would like um, some Mozart, so yeah, great. Uh, and I don't think I have the Marriage of Figaro, so that's very nice. Um, ah, The Planets by uh, Holst. I always forget that. Uh, I forget Holst's first name, but anyway, The Planets by Holst. This is something I have heard about, uh, but have not listened to yet. I actually encountered this once because someone recommended it as a great place to start with classical music. Um, but obviously I, I kind of already got my start with classical music, but anyway, I've heard good things about this piece of music. Alright, um, ooh, okay, uh, Weekend Class, this is, um, Mavlast by, uh, Bedrik Smetana. Uh, Smetana is, um, probably the quintessential Czech composer. Um, Mavlast translates as My Country, it's basically a, a symphonic poem about about the Bohemian country, basically. Um, Bohemia being the region of the Czech Republic that, uh, what is now the Czech Republic that Smetana was from. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. I love this piece of music so much. So this is awesome. Um, yeah, I can't wait to listen to it, honestly. So uh, this is really cool. And I don't, I, this is another one that I, I don't have a copy myself. I've just heard it in many places. Uh, my dad is Czech, for anyone who doesn't uh, know where his new um, so, you know, this composer like Smetana is very important to him and his family. Um, and we have another Czech composer for this next one, um, which is Three Symphonies by Antonin Dvorak. Um, so this is Symphony number 7, 8, and 9. Um, yeah, great. Uh, I really like Dvorak as well. I haven't listened to that much of his music, but what I have heard has been really good. And this is, um, I haven't been talking about the artists here, but this doesn't seem to say who the conductor performers are right on the on the cover, but uh, anyway, that's great. Um, ooh, okay, nice. This is, um, this is J.S. Bach. This is a St. Matthew Passion. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, it looks, okay, um, cool, awesome. Uh, yeah, I love the St. Matthew Passion. I, I did, yeah. This is great, uh, and I, this is yet another one that I don't I don't have on my phone. So really cool to have that. Um, all right, what do we have here? Um, oh, okay, Beethoven the Complete Piano Sonatas. I love Beethoven's piano sonatas, um, although I have not yet listened to all of them. Uh, the ones that I have listened to are spectacular. Um, so uh, this is a little booklet that comes with this one. Um, and uh, it has a little sort of introduction to each sonata, it looks like, which is very nice. So cool. Yeah, awesome. Uh, all right, we get to the big one, the one that was the uh, centerpiece of the whole thing. Uh, and this is or the centerpiece of what uh, they were going to send me. This is um, Tristan and Isolde, obviously the great opera by Richard Wagner. And this... This has Valtraud Meyer as Isolde, which is spectacular because Valtraud Meyer is is, is phenomenal. Uh, I have heard some of her singing on YouTube as as Isolde and as uh, Kundry from from um, from Parsifal, uh, Wagner's last opera, and um, she's just spectacular. Like as a singer, as an actress, um, she's superb. And Siegfried uh, Jerusalem is also supposed to be very good. I haven't listened to him, but he, I, he's a name, it's a name I know. And this is conducted by Daniel Baron Bohem. 
Fantastic. Um, and uh, this is kind of a cool cover too, with a Gustav Klimt painting. So very nice, awesome. And uh, it, yet again, it has like the libretto and everything along with it. So very, very nice. And then, uh, all right, this is Br uh, Brahms for symphonies, conducted by Herbert von Karajan. Um, yeah, I told I told them through email the person who sent this. I told them that I I was interested in listening to Brahms. Um, so he sent me this, so that's awesome. And it's conducted by Karayan, so I assume it will be good. Um, yeah, and I haven't really listened to any any Brahms yet, so I don't quite know what to expect, but I did hear, I did learn in, uh, the short biography that I read of Wagner in my, in, um, Harold, Harold Schoenberg's book, uh, Lives of the Great Composers, I did learn that Brahms was considered the sort of, um, antithesis to Wagner. So that kind of got me interested in listen, listening to Brahms. Um, but he also, he's also just a well-known composer who I haven't listened to. Um, all right, what do we have? What do we have next? All right, this is um, more Beethoven. Misa Solemnis. Um, so this is a, this is choral music by uh, Beethoven, which I, I have never heard of, but I really, really like choral music, so I think I will probably really enjoy this if it's, if it's by Beethoven and it's choral music. Um, and it even has a libretto along with it. So really cool. So it's, so it's kind of a, it's kind of religious, um, like, I don't know if they're masses necessarily, but it has like the Ave Maria, Stabat Mater, Curie, Gloria, um, Agnus Dei. So yeah, it is, it seems like Kind of a, a a music a mass set to music, yeah. I should really enjoy that. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Um, all right, here we go. This is um, the Saint John Passion by Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, yeah, I love that as well. Really glad to have this. Uh, yeah, another great one that I I don't I don't have. Um, oh, nice. And then this is a. Uh, this is um, Dmitry Shostakovich, uh, all of his string quartets. Very nice, very nice. I, 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 I've listened to a couple of these, but not all of them. And I will uh, relish the opportunity to listen, listen to all of them. That's awesome. Um, so anyway, yeah, the good music hall. That's everything. Um, thank you to the person who sent them, uh, who, who will remain unnamed. Uh, and anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.